guys hey welcome to mondays with mark i'm mark and this is smoky steve and mark oh yes it is <laughs> welcome or welcome back oh my gosh is it great to be to be spending time with you this evening oh it was a day let me tell you but we'll talk a little bit more about that later oh we have a fun show tonight we do we do yo we have a Timu haul. Yep, yep, yep. I know. Long time coming. You've been asking for it for a while. We we did one, but I think it was probably like three weeks ago or something. Maybe even a month ago by now. I can't remember exactly when. And um, uh, we did it real quick. You know, we didn't think... I don't know why we didn't do like a more involved one. But, uh, but I'm here tonight and we have another haul for you. Not quite as big as the last haul, but there's some fun stuff in there. And then we have some updates on the previous stuff we got from Timu. We have an all new referral code too. Yo, it's like 30% off. It's, so it's, it's pretty cool. I'm excited. And, uh, and you know, it's St. Patrick's Day week. Yes, it is. So all through the week, our content is going to be sprinkled with St. Patty's Day stuff. And you know what? You know what? Why don't we get right to it? You know, I thought it would be a lot of fun, given that it is St. Patrick's Day week, that we could take a look at our top five favorite Irish castles. Check it out. We're counting down our top five favorite whatever and anything goes from food to travel to products and entertainment and it all begins right now. So let's get started, shall we? Wherever they're located, castles are mysterious and breathtaking. And today, we're counting down our top five favorite castles of Ireland. In our number five slot is Rock of Cashel. It was built in the 12th century and it's located in Cashel County. Now it is said that the shamrock is thought to have gained its symbolism right here when St. Patrick reportedly plucked the little three leaf plant to illustrate the meaning of the Holy Trinity to the King of Munster. Now probably more interesting and a little more creepy is the legend of how this castle was created. It is said that the devil took a bite from a tall mountain called the Devil's Bit, and when the piece of rock was spit out of his mouth, it became the Rock of Cashel. Now, if you translate Cashel directly from Irish, the Gaelic word means circular stone fort. Coming in at number four is Ananyur Castle. It was built in the 1500s and is located in Galway. It was built by the ferocious Gaelic O'Flaherty clan. Their motto was, fortune favors the strong. Now in 1546, Donald O'Flaherty married Grace O'Malley, who became known as the Pirate Queen and famously referred to as a notorious woman in all the coasts of Ireland. Ananyar Castle stands on the shores of the beautiful Loch Carib in Galway. In at number three is Donegal Castle, and it is regarded as one of the finest examples of a Gaelic castle in Ireland. 
Donegal Castle was the seat of the O'Donnell family, and they were one of the most powerful Gaelic-Irish families from the 5th through the 16th centuries. Now, in 1607, the O'Donnells fled Ulster after a nine-year battle with the English. The fleeing O'Donnells damaged the castle so that it couldn't be used against the remaining Irish chieftains. The castle was sold to the Gore family in the 1670s and it fell into ruin in the 18th century and wasn't until the 1900s that the castle was restored. It's considered one of the oldest castles in Ireland, having been built in 1213 AD. The same as our number two slot, the Kilkenny Castle. Richard de Clare, better known as Strongbow, led the northern invasion of Ireland in the late 12th century. He built the first Kilkenny Castle, which was probably made of wood. Now, Strongbow's daughter Isabel and husband William rebuilt Kilkenny Castle as a stone structure. And in 1385, the castle was bought by the Butler family and remained theirs for over 500 years. Kilkenny itself was once the capital of Ireland and its most important city. Kilkenny Castle, though, well, it was sold to the state in 1967 for 50 pounds. And in our number one spot is Blarney Castle. Originally built in 1210, it's located in County Cork, Ireland. Blarney Castle was constructed on an impressive limestone outcrop and was strategically sited so that it could overlook two rivers. Now, the Blarney Stone is well known for its reputed powers of giving anyone who kisses it the gift of gab. Well, and some good luck. <laughs> this originated when Queen Elizabeth coined the term the gift of the gab when she became fed up with Lord Blarney. Well, apparently he talked endlessly to avoid agreeing to her demands. Today, the castle and the stone is visited and kissed by thousands of people every year. And there you have it, our top five favorite castles of Ireland. <laughs> How was that? Wasn't it fun? Oh, I just love castles. I mean, I don't really know anybody that, that would say, oh, I hate castles. I don't know. I think they're like... I don't know, anytime we go on a trip somewhere, if there's like a castle like in the vicinity, we definitely go visit it. And I don't know how many I've seen in my life. I've probably seen a lot. It's like that and and caves. I love to explore caves, but like, you know, like tourist caves, not like, what do they call it? Spelunking or something? Not like, you know, just go on my own and find a cave somewhere like, you know, like Carlsbad Caverns or something like that. I love doing that too. So, um, so that was a lot of fun to do. I hope you enjoyed it. So, are you ready for a haul? Oh, this is going to be like the week of hauls, y'all, because I think hauls, y'all. Get it? Hauls, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm a poet and don't know it. Uh oh. -uh. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Uh, we have a Walmart haul, but not just a Walmart haul. We have a Walmart delivery haul. And I think we're going to put that out tomorrow. But uh, tonight, it's all about the Timu. Oh yes, Timu is becoming like one of the most popular shopping apps uh, here in the country, in the U.S. anyway. Um, it's starting to bypass Amazon Prime and Walmart with their uh, their Plus program, their shopping thing that they do that kind of rivals Amazon. Um, they're getting very, very popular. And they've already, you know, they already blew a wish out of the water. And, you know, understandably so. Um, they were very similar in the way they were set up. But wish... Um, 
was very difficult. Like their customer service was not good at all. And their shipping, there were items that, that took over a month to ship, you know, um, not the case with Timu. I have to say we've ordered twice now from Timu and, uh, we're very, very happy with them. Um, the shipping was very quick, very inexpensive. In fact, my shipping was free. Um, and I think ours was free in the first Timu haul. I'll have to double check that. But um, shipping is not expensive and most times free. And uh, the items are inexpensive. And th the quality was better than, than Wish as well, too. So... When I get to see, when I see what I got, when I get to it, I haven't even opened it yet. I mean, I opened it, but I did. I can't even remember what's in here. But I do know I got some fun stuff. So let's get started. All right, it's the orange bag, yo, Timu bags. <laughs> All right, so this I open. What is this? Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh yes, I needed one of these. Look, and then each thing that they, you know. They, they that you buy is also in one of these little Ziploc bags, too. I needed this so bad. It's like a little... There we go. Laundry bag! Yep, I needed one very bad. Not as big as I thought it would be, but, uh... But I did need one. You know, we got the Wonder Washer, y'all, and we've been using it every day. I love that thing. Just love it. I'm going to love it even more in the summer when I can hang the clothes out on the line. Yeah. But uh, now we have it hanging on a drying rack inside. But uh, so this is for dirty clothes. Very inexpensive. And I like it. Dun -dun. Of all the things that we have in the house, I did not have a knife sharpener. So I got one on Timu. Let's see. Let's see how good it is. I guess I won't know until I do it. Oh, no, this is nice. Oh, yeah, this will definitely do. Definitely do. Yep, knife sharpener. And then what we'll do... Oh, there's different... There You can you can adjust it, too. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, this will work. Um, yeah, I needed one of these. Our knives are starting to get dull. So, and we'll have to report back. Maybe, like, in a week or so. I'll, I'll use it, and then I'll report back and let you know how good it is. So... There is that. Oh, I remember what this is. Oh, this thing is so cool. All right, so this is also for the kitchen. As you're going to see a trend here, most of this stuff is for the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so this is a little rack that attaches up under a counter and it spins and you can hang like spatulas and stuff like that on it. I thought that was pretty nifty. So I'm going to give that a shot. This was like two bucks. Now it's plastic, but it seems pretty... Eh, yeah, it does. It seems pretty sturdy. So very cool. It has the hardware and it has the hardware in there too. And it's self-stick, y'all. Oh my gosh, that makes it so much better. Okay, awesome. Ooh, I can't wait to put this in. I'm, I need to get stuff up off the counter and like easily reachable, you know, instead of walking to the other end of the count of the kitchen. And this dust bin. It's a dust bin. I don't know. I don't remember. Is this the one that goes next to, I think, I think it is. Let's see. All right. What do we got? How does it open? Is it open? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So, this, okay, clamps on to, like, a cupboard, you know, door or the end of a counter. It clips on, and then it opens like that, and it's a little garbage bin. And the garbage bin, and, and so what I like to do whenever I cook, I like to have a little you know, garbage bin by me, you know, for like scraps and stuff that I can just throw it right in. We have a garbage can, but we have to bring it over and it sits way low and it's not, this will be right next to my cooking area and I could throw the garbage in. Pretty cool. I like it. Again, you know what? I'll put it, I'll install it, I'll use it and I'll let you know if, it, if it's worth it or not. Okay. It has little clips. You can also hang it as well. It doesn't have, you know, it clips right on. Let's see, I'll show you. It clips on like that, so you can also hang it up as well. So I thought that was a nifty little thing. Oh, I'm excited to use that. Oh, also for the kitchen and another, like, you know, space-saving thing. This is an insert for the um, for your utensil drawer. And it goes in like this, and your utensils sit in like this. 
like that. Very cool. And if it fits and it's convenient and it works nice, I'll get another one and then everything can fit in there. You can fit twice the amount of, of utensils in a drawer and it keeps them all nice and organized. Ooh, very, very nice, huh? Ooh. All right, what else do we have? This is fun. This is like sitting down with friends and like, oh, we went shopping today and we're gonna, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, also for the kitchen. I'm trying to organize, you know, and, and everything. So I got one of these. Uh, it's a clip-on under a shelf basket. So it'll, you know, it'll clip on there and then it's a basket. And uh, let's see, does it expand or anything? Or is there two of them? Or let's see here how this works. Oh, yeah, it does. Look, it expands. And it, it can be that big too. Oh, I love it. You know, for those little things that like, I, I can't think right now. Every time I'm in the kitchen, I'm like, gosh, I wish I had something right here that I could put this stuff in. You know, like little mini spice jars, or sometimes you get little sample packets of like, you know, ketchup and hot sauce and stuff. This is a perfect little thing for that. Ah, great. This was like two bucks. I mean, my goodness. All right, again, if I like it, I'm gonna get a couple more. All right. Then there's some little stuff in here. Let me show you. Yeah, this is some little stuff. I had like, I don't know, when you're, I had like, what was it, like $5 credit left or something. So I got a bunch of little stuff. Um, a little pen, it's for, you know, that's for a gift. This was 97 cents. Um, but what I like about it is it has, it has 10 different colors of ink in it. It's pretty cool. Okay, so you know I'll probably use that myself. Oh gosh. And then I'm gonna have to open this because I thought this was pretty cool. Again, this was like one dollar. Uh you know, I was trying to use up some credit that I had on there. And uh, you know, you get down to like four or five bucks, you're like, oh, you're not gonna get anything. But you do, they have tons of stuff that's like, you know, 97 cents and 87 cents. And this was one of them. They're little they're stickers. Tarot card stickers. Look how cool is that? It's good for scrapbooking or like uh, uh, Halloween time. And the tarot, they're all kitty cats. All the pictures are kitty cats. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, this is right up my alley. I like stuff like that. And then, um, oh, okay. Uh, retro grocery label stickers. Again, they were like 97 cents. Oh, gosh, just what I need, more junk, but I do like it. <laughs> but no, I'll use it, too. These bags are cool, too. You can reuse these for stuff. Oh, my gosh. All right, so what is this? Oh, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. This goes behind your sink in the kitchen or bathroom where your faucet is, right? It goes, okay, let me open it up here. So it's this thing. Have you ever seen one like this? So this would go like this, and your faucet comes out the center, and it, it keeps the it keeps it up from the water, it keeps the water from going there. We have a little indent and it fills with water all the time and drives me nuts. I'm constantly wiping it out. So this will definitely help with that. Oh, I like that. It doesn't open. I have to rip it open. Yeah, I do have to rip it open. All right, let's do it. And I want to show you because it's neat. It's again for crafting or scrapbooking or something like that. And it's old vintage. Um, gosh, it's packaged nice. It's in an envelope. These are just vintage sheets of paper. Music. They could be used as a background or in a scrapbook or, um, you know, see like there's a poem you could wrap little gifts in them like jewelry boxes or some you know little mini jewelry boxes and they're all different and they're vintage and uh i like stuff like this you know it's pretty cool i like that 97 cents so you know i got it why not <laughs> all right so what's in here oh and this out of everything i got this is probably the thing that i was most excited about I have wanted one of these for so long. I got a wax seal kit. Okay, this is definitely a splurge item. This was for me. I mean, you know, 
do you really need a wax seal kit? Probably not, but um, oh, oh, yes, I needed this. Look. Has everything in there to put wax seals on like cards and stuff like um, like for Christmas cards we can do a wax seal on it now um, and it comes with all the little molds here there's like a flower there's a star um, there's the thing where you 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 melt the melt this is really cool oh I like this a lot and then here's the uh, here's the stamper itself oh it's a moon there's the stamper itself and it has the discs that you can interchange and there's a bunch of them in here Let's see i'll take one out and it clips on the bottom of the uh of the handle thing here so um and then these are all the different colors of waxes this is a really nice uh nice thing nice presentation and ah and he's having his little candle in there oh my gosh <laughs> that's great we'll have to do a um We'll have to do a video on it. Like maybe we could, maybe, maybe, maybe JT will teach me how to make some cards and we'll do a video and then I'll seal them all with wax seals. How about that? <laughs> okay. All right. So that was it. That was it for the haul. And I spent about 50 bucks and it took four days to get here from shipping and the shipping was free. So uh, I was, I was really excited about it. Um, so our referral code right here, y'all, you got to use it because um, it saves uh, 30%. There's like, there's a lot of things involved with the referral code. You get like a discount plus they'll give you like these special pop-up things for using the referral code, you know, like, like here's a special on this item. Here's a special on that item. If you like it. Um, and they have like, I mean, anything you can imagine they have there, you know, um, use the search box, you know, to search like what you're looking for. They, they have just a ton of neat stuff and, uh, it's dangerous though. I just have to warn you. It's dangerous. You could be on there for like hours. Like I want this. I want that. Not that I did that, but Okay, I did it. We'll just say that and move on, okay? <laughs> I did that. But hey, I only spent 50 bucks. That wasn't bad, right? So yeah, use that referral code and then uh, you get that. And then we also get, um, we get a kickback too. Um, it's like a percentage. Like if you end up buying something, we get like, I, I don't really even know. They have different tiers, but it's like 10% we get as Timu credit so we can buy stuff, you know, so we, we get something out of it too. It's a pretty cool referral code. And, uh, one of the things they're doing right now is if you download the app using our referral code, we get a kickback from that too. Even if you don't use the app, you know, um, I guess they just want to introduce you to Timu and, and kind of show you what they have to offer, you know? So, um, anyway, so that was the Timu haul. Oh, that was fun. Okay, so, so I thought it would be, I thought this would be fun as well and a little bit informative too. I have a couple updates from our last Timu haul for you. People have been asking how we like this stuff. Is this holding up? Is that holding up? You know, so I just, I just picked two items that I thought I would show you that I was most impressed with. Um, the first one was the ice cube tray and this was $9.97 and it has a lid on it you know, that seals so you don't get that yucky taste from the freezer in it. And it has two trays in it that make ice cubes like that. There's one, and there's two. And then it has the bin at the bottom that holds all the ice cubes in it. Just love this thing. It even has a little scooper that comes with it too. I like it. Oh, Steve, yes. what do you think of the ice cube tray we got from Tino? I love it. Love it. I'm actually making ice now. He's making ice now. I never it's... used to before. I would just leave it empty until I got a dirty look. <laughs> yeah, I know. But this solved it. I love it. Oh, good. It's good. Awesome. Yeah, I like it yeah. too. I think it's so neat. And it all goes together like that. And it's that it, that little too. And it makes that much ice. So that was one update that, um, that we really, really liked uh, from Timu. So there was that. And then the other one was the... Um, the vacuum, it's a cordless vacuum that charges, came with everything, even an accessory pack. It has like the hose, it has the little like 
what do you call it, the, the straight nozzle thing that you can get down in between pillows and stuff like that, a brush attachment, it has all the attachments with it, um, and, uh, and, and it's about that big. I love this thing. So I did just a little bit of sweeping on the rug uh, before we started today, and I'm hoping that you can see the dirt in there. It's very powerful. Not that loud, but it's, it's powerful. It works very good. And to clean it out, you just twist it like that, and it has the removable little thing. Look at the cat hair. Oh my gosh. This is, I can't believe I'm showing you this. I'm so embarrassed. Not really. It's a vacuum. I wanted to show you that it works, but it has this and you just tap it out and then you put it back and empty the, and empty the bin. And then you just put it back together, screw it back together. And, uh, and it works. This is perfect. Like I use this mostly in the bathroom where we have, uh, one of the litter boxes and, and a rug outside of it picks all of the straight litter up, is really good for picking up hair on, on the sofa and stuff like that. So again, I think uh, two thumbs up for the uh, for the uh, cordless vacuum. I think this would be great in the car too. I haven't used it in the car, but I need to. So I'm going to go do that. So that was that. Those are just two little updates for you from our last Timu haul. Um, and I guess that's all she wrote. As far as Timu goes, huh? <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you had fun tonight. I did. Like I said, it felt like I was sitting down like right next to you and we were like sharing, uh, like, you know, like, like we went on a shopping trip or something. So I hope that's how it felt for you too, because I really had a nice time tonight. I didn't know what to do for Mondays with Mark tonight. We had originally thought of doing the Timu haul together, Steve and I, um, but he's like, why don't you just do it for Mondays with Mark? And I'm like, wow. What a great idea. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending your time with me this evening. It means so much to me. You have no idea. Definitely hit that subscribe button, okay? And that notification bell so you know when we have a new video out. All of our contact information is listed right down below. Our email address, our post office box, all of that. Check us out over on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, we've been posting uh, all over there lately, and I'm trying to do a little better with Facebook. Facebook too. Bear with me. I'll get the schedule down. I'll be posting more on Facebook. I will. <laughs> Definitely. So thank you again, everybody. You have a fantastic week and I will see you next time. Next Monday's with Mark, y'all. It's the beginning of spring. It is. So I think we might be talking garden stuff. I know that I have an awesome DIY, just perfect for spring. So, uh, so that'll be next week. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Mwah! <laughs>